hi sweeties how are how are you doing welcome to seminaria and thank you all so much for all the love and support hope you all are doing great i am sure you all saw the attempted assault that almost happened to the other man ryan where he was uh playing golf right i'm going to ask this we've been hearing stories ab about uh you know somebody trying to do this somebody trying to do that is he the only one coming out for this election right there are other people it looks like they are so much invested in all this pity party kind of our you know uh votes and the rest of it but i really love the fact that some people are also using their brain to think and understand that there are some things that cannot be constantly or consistently happening to the same person without even trying to like you know way into it and there is also um a tweet that i saw where donald trump's son was saying that i like you know this has been happening to his father and what would people think about kids going to school and not come back and now you don't admit that it is just now that they are trying to understand that uh, something like this has been happening to innocent kids so jeff Mead, you all already know that tap dancer was actually trying to analyze this and a white man actually came for him you know what i love it for jeff Mead, and the, you know what i am saying i am calling on white people you know what take jeff Mead. whatever you people want to do to him or want to do with him do with him what thy will we are not part of whatever that is happening to him let's get into this video this man behind me just tried to assassinate donald trump his name is ryan wesley ruth he was trying to take trump out while he was golfing Secret Service spotted a barrel sticking out of a bush. Then the Secret Service agents engaged, leading Ruth to flee the scene. He was subsequently apprehended by law enforcement in Martin County after a witness provided details of his vehicle, which was tracked down using a license plate reader. At the scene where Ruth was hiding, authorities recovered the rifle, two backpacks containing ceramic tiles, possibly for bulletproofing, and a GoPro camera, suggesting he intended to document the event. Oh, and I didn't mention that he's donated to Democrats 19 times since 2019. So if I zoom in here, you can see his name and you can see Act Blue, Act Blue, Act Blue, Act Blue. It's a Democratic fundraising organization. Oh, and if you look back here, you can see the state. It's Hawaii. And then if you look here, you're going to see Facebook wipe his account live. Why is Facebook wiping his account? Why can't we go see what he's been posting? Also, rewind this and look, you can see he's from Hawaii. But again, why is Facebook wiping his account? Oh, he's also been very obsessed with the Russia-Ukraine war. Ask yourself, what has this man seen? What is he believing where he thinks the necessary thing to do is to go assassinate Donald Trump? What convinced him that that is the right thing to do? Think about that. I have a good idea of what it is. This man behind me just tried to assassinate Donald Trump. His name is Ryan Wesley Ruth. I didn't mention that he's donated to Democrats 19 times since 2019. So if I zoom in here, you can see his name and you can see Act Blue, Act Blue, Act Blue, Act Blue. It's a Democratic fundraising organization. Ask yourself, what has this man seen? What is he believing where he thinks the necessary thing to do is to go assassinate Donald Trump. What convinced him that that is the right thing to do? Think about that. I have a good idea of what it is. And I have a better idea of what that is. So the tap dancing millennial is doing what he always does, telling white people what they want to hear, right? And you know how he does it? Do you know the method in which he does that? I'm going to show you right now. This is what Jeffrey Mead does. Look at this. That is an alcoholic beverage. Now we all know it's can of root beer, right? But no, it doesn't say root. So it's obviously just beer. That's what he does. He omits information on purpose. But all his followers with double-digit IQs and single-digit teeth never fact-check anything. They never read. Now, we all saw how he showed who Ryan Ruth donated to, right? And you see how he worded that? Who he donated to since 2019? That was done purposely because he hasn't donated to them since 2020. Now, people, are you going to judge someone of what they used to do back in the past or what they're doing right now? Because if you want to play the game, bro... Donald Trump donated to Kamala Harris before. Talk your way out of that one. So yes, Ryan Ruth donated a little bit of money a bunch of times to the Democratic Party back in 2019 and 2020. I'm talking like a dollar here, dollar fifty, three dollars, one time like 19 bucks. But he also voted for Trump in 2016. You failed to mention that for some reason. Not to mention he's a huge supporter of Ramaswamy and Nikki Haley. Find me one Democrat who's supporting Ramaswamy and Haley. Find me one, Jeff Mead. I don't give a shit what some of you do in the past. What are they doing right now? And then you asked, what convinced him that was the right thing to do? Well, here's an idea right over here. Here's a tweet right over here from him this year wanting to help people in Haiti. I know that's got to be foreign to you, defending people of color, right? But yeah, he wanted to help Haiti this year. Now you tell me, Jeff Mead, 
Who was spreading hate and lies about the Haitian community recently? Who did that, Jeff Mead? Who's causing them hate and threats to where they had to evacuate schools? Who caused that, Jeff Mead? Who's spreading the Haitian hate? Tell me. So the dude admitted he supported Trump in 2016. He admitted that he was disappointed by Trump. He donated a little bit of money, I'm talking a little bit of money, to the Democrats in 2019 and 2020. And now he supports Haley and Ramaswamy. Don't you dare put this on Democrats or the left or liberals. This is on you. This is on your people. And just like the utter millennial, you and your bullshit, you are grooming the next person to do such things. All because you didn't have what it takes to make an honest living. That's why you do what you do, Jeff Mead. Don't you dare put this on Democrats or the left or liberals. This is on you. This is on your people. So this guy tries to assassinate Donald Trump, and it's my fault, and the people that believe like me, it's our fault. Top tier gaslighting. You, sir, you get an award. I mean, standing ovation. I'm talking top tier gaslighting. Don't you dare put this on Democrats when one of our supporters tries to assassinate the Republican nominee for president. It's your fault. Top tier. But only people that suffer from serious Trump derangement syndrome believe that. So he tries to call me out. Let's hear it. I'm going to show you right now. This is what Jeffrey Meade does. Look at this. That is an alcoholic beverage. Now, we all know it's a can of root beer, right? But no, it doesn't say root. So it's obviously just beer. That's what he does. He omits information on purpose. But all his followers with double-digit IQs and single-digit teeth never fact-check anything. They never read. Now, we all saw how he showed who Ryan Ruth donated to, right? And you see how he worded that? Who he donated to since 2019? That was done purposely because he hasn't donated to them since 2020. It's crazy. You're going to try to call me out for wording things a specific way while you do it. You're literally doing what you're trying to accuse me of doing. Notice how he said, and I quote, he hasn't donated to them since 2020. The reality is that man has not donated at all since 2020. But if he tells you he hasn't donated to Democrats since 2020, it can lead you to think that he has donated, just not to Democrats since 2020. But hey, my bad, I forgot. With you guys, it's rules for thee, but not for me. He also tried to call me out for showing those 19 donations he made to Act Blue. The last donation he made before that was almost a decade ago. So I'm using more recent and relevant information. But he wasn't done. Now, people, are you going to judge someone of what they used to do back in the past or what they're doing right now? That is a bold statement coming from the side of January 6th, January 6th, January 6th, January 6th, January 6th, January 6th, January 6th. And we will judge people on both, but we're going to judge what they're doing right now because that's more important because that's giving you accurate, up-to-date information. And right now, he's trying to assassinate Donald Trump. Again, you tried to call me out with this. I voted for Trump in 2016. You failed to mention that for some reason. Wait, I'm confused. Hold on. Isn't this you? I don't give a shit what some of you do in the past. What are they doing right now? So then why are you bringing up what he did in 2016? You're contradicting yourself. Pick, pick one. We're going to go with, you don't care about what's happening in the past. You care what's happening right now. And right now, that man just tried to assassinate Donald Trump. Look at the red. Democracy is on the ballot and we cannot lose. We cannot afford to fail. This man was literally regurgitating democratic slogans. Not to mention he has Biden and Harris on his truck. There it is. But you wanted to try to call me out. But he also voted for Trump in 2016. You failed to mention that for some reason. You try to call me out for omitting information while doing it. As I mentioned earlier, the man is literally tweeting democratic slogans. You forgot to mention that for some reason. But again, we have to remember, with you guys, it's rules for thee, but not for me. Go sit down. So this is all I got from this video, and you know what? I saw this video and I am saying this to all palm colored people, white people that Jeff Mead has in support in. You know what? Give it over to you people. Do it in what that will. I don't care. We don't care. My community, they don't care. This young man is the only young man that will never, he will, I have never seen him, but I will really sincerely speaking, I don't know how to say it, but I don't know how he does it and he does it effortlessly. I give it to him. He lies so good. So good in the sense that you are going to give Jeff Mead two things, right? As long as I have to do with his own people. Trust me, you will never hear the truth from Jeff Mead. If they live and live black people, Jeff Mead will absolutely pick these people. Because he's been cooning around. He, that is what he knows how to do best. And his followers or his followers are not... Mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. 
whatever he says, that is it. You know those kind of followers that you have and that uh, they are just looking for where they will see someone that look like me is stop dancing in their favor and they stick there and they aren't going anywhere. That is the kind of followers he has. He they beat the music and he tap dances for them. I love it for him, really. But I keep saying it that I already cannot wait for him to have his wake up call. I keep saying this, like, how is, I don't know, but sometimes when I, even when I think of wanting to tell a lie, I feel like, you know, oh, if anything happens to me, like, like it, that is it, like, you know, that is not, that is bad. You see, you know, you say that, oh my God, what I'm trying to do is not good. I don't think Jeff has that kind of heart and mind. I think Jeff, like, you know, when Jeff thinks something, he doesn't weigh them. He just tells you like straight up. This is not it. Even when that thing it, even when it is. And there are other people like him, young black men like him too. They keep breeding themselves. The one is Wolf Heart. And there is also another, like there are many of them actually that they are into this. I really don't understand, but it's sometimes it's um overwhelming seeing them stand out to lie. But I love the fact that it's it's yeah, let them continue. But you know what? To white people, I give you people to Jeff May. Do it him without what I will. Do it him without what I will. See you all in my next video. Bye for now.